Now, you, you don't need to protect her. I'm asking you a question. Are you done with me or not? Sir? I'm not done with you. Did you give it with attitude? You're on camera. Go ahead, go back and protect so, so you're protecting her? She I'm, I'm not she have, mistreated I'm, a citizen, and now you're okay, you're running I'm, interference. I'm also not going to have you belittle her. How can you, you tell me to slow down? You were not still when you no, went blowing by me. You weren't up there. I was standing right was there. The, uh, this gentleman here told us to and pull then in he here. He stepped out in the road to tell you to stop. No, he told us to pull in here. He grabbed my ID. Hey folks, welcome to our channel where we talk about police interactions to make sure you know your rights and understand the legal rules for filming in public. Join us as we look at real life situations and give you insights to empower you when dealing with the police. In this video, we focus on this encounter that highlight the importance of knowing your rights. We start with the first officer whose lack of readiness and skill in handling people filming shows the need for better education and training within law enforcement. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness. Am I being detained? Yes, right now you are. For what? What reasonable articulable suspicion you I got that you I committed slow down, a crime? You didn't slow down. You can't, that's not a crime. You can't tell me to slow down. When I don't even, I'm driving up there and you told me to slow down? Me your ID, Reasonable, sir. articulable suspicion of a crime. Tell me what it is. Hand me your ID, sir. Let me get a supervisor. Hand me your ID, sir. Supervisor. Hand me I'm your ID, I'm asking you sir. for a supervisor. Hand me your ID, sir. I'm asking you for a supervisor. Hand me your ID, sir. I'm asking you for a supervisor, sir. Hand me your sir. ID, sir. What reasonable, articulable suspicion have you got that I committed a crime? Hand me your ID, sir. You just said to me, you asked me to slow down and I didn't and I'm sitting still, sir. ID, sir. What do you need my ID, no, sir? Just, just give him your we ID. didn't do anything wrong. He's not, he's not, we're not going to jail for He's done, thing. right, but he's done running. I heard everything come back and they that said I'm fine. Tag. I didn't I'm the owner ID. of the car. I know, I just checked him to see who you are. Right, but you don't have any articulable suspicion. I of what's the crime I, I told speeding? you to slow down how and can you kept you on going. How can you I tell you me just, to slow down when I'm sitting still, sir? How can you tell me to slow down? You sitting still when you went blowing by me. You weren't up there. I was standing right was there. The, it, this gentleman here told us to and pull in he here. he stepped out in the road to tell you to stop. No, he told us to pull in here. He grabbed my ID. This cop grabbed my ID out of my car. Girl, I mean, 12, 12, you, you don't have no problems, brother. No, I ain't got no problems. Folks, I've never seen anything like this before. For starters, this is a total bogus stop, and the cop is 100 in the wrong. This guy needs to be fired and charged with all the crime. It's not just John's wallet that got snatched. It's his rights as an American. Remember, cops will say anything to get you to comply, but this one just went full on Fourth Amendment violator by reaching into the car and snatching the wallet off John's lap. As you can see on the screen, the Fourth Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights and says no way to unreasonable searches and seizures. This is outrageous and honestly kind of sickening. Sir, you have my wallet back to me and I'll take my ID out. You don't need my wallet. It's got money in it. I can't 
a John M. Stewart out of Walling, Tennessee. He had a valid class Delta, no gun permit, no restrictions, several priors, negative in the Get your name and badge number, sir. Badge number is twelve twelve. And your last your your last name? Pack. Pack. You tell me why you reached in my car and grabbed my ID like that? Because I asked you to hand them to me, and I could have put you in cuffs. Put your location. Right. Yeah. I asked you to slow down. You uh -huh. did not slow down. I had every right to pull you out of this car and detain you when I asked you for your name and you did not give your name. I asked you for your license. You did not give me your license. Please explain to me I what do you mean right to... you asked us to slow down. We when I told down. you to slow down and you did not slow down, you only slowed down when the man stepped out in front of your car. Sir, And told us to pull in not. here. Did he not? And we pulled in here. Yes, after he stepped in front of your car to keep you from hitting him. So that's the only time you stopped. So I'm not going to tell you that again. I do have a right to detain you. There's nothing. I do have a right to ask you for your ID. We were slowing down to come through this intersection. That we don't know what's going order. on. I, I didn't say it was a lawful order. I, I said, do have a right to ask you for your ID at any time. So whether you want to or not, you do have to comply with that. Whether you're recording right. that or not. That ain't, the recording's just for me. That ain't got anything to do with it. We're that. slowing down. We come up over this hill. We don't know what's going on. When you on. came down through there and you saw blue lights right there, and then I tell you to slow down, you did not slow down. You kept on going right past me. Doing five miles an hour. No, you were not doing This gentleman miles come an out hour. and slowed us down. 30 miles an hour. We wasn't doing 30 miles an hour. Yes. You were doing more than that. You were doing 40. Down through there. Oh, yeah, until we got stopped, I'm sure we might have been doing 35 or 40. But I wouldn't so, do no 35 or 40 when we come up to you or that gentleman you over there. I slow down, and you didn't. You went right past me, and then he stepped out in front of me. So, that's the reason why you were being detained. You understand that? I do understand that. All right, slow down. Thank you, sir. Speed limit's 30 miles an hour all the way down through here. And I'm not, we weren't going over 30. Yes, you were. When you come past okay. me, you were. Let us go. Okay. Believe me, I can tell. All right. I and what was for a living? Right. What was your name again, sir? I told you already. Hey. You got it recorded. Pat. Okay. Are we free to go? Just a second. As soon as this car goes by, hang on. Don't back up yet. All right. So if John got pulled over for speeding, then yeah, he'd need to show his advert. Just telling John to slow down isn't a legal stop. The cop guessed John was going 35 to 40 MPH because, and I quote, he can tell because he does this for a living. Seriously, this cop didn't even write John a ticket. So it seems like he was just flexing his power. The cop claimed he had the right to detain John and ask for his ID, which is true. But John also had the right to refuse. It would be different if the cop had a reasonable suspicion of a crime. But all he did was tell John to slow down. So where's the crime? This cop definitely needs to be fired and charged. Remember, cops are trained to lie and you have civil rights and liberties. You don't have to comply with unlawful orders. So I encourage everyone to learn about your local state and federal laws to be prepared if you ever encounter a power tripping cop trying to strip you of your rights. Well, we got a little huddle here. Car 2016, car 1732, car 1514, car 1448. What's going on? We got a huddle going? Don't worry about it? All right, I'm going to need your name and badge number. What side would you like me to approach? In the middle here or on this side?
Thank you for having an American flag on your uniform. I appreciate You're very welcome, that. Sir. So what can I do you What's for? your name and badge number? I'm Officer Brigini with the Alexandria Police Department. Okay. What's your badge number? 2612. Okay, great. And what don't I need to worry about? This is police business right now. You don't need to worry about what's going on. It doesn't involve you. Okay. Well, I'm seeing four cars in my neighborhood. Okay. You think it's professional to say don't worry about it? Or you, yes, you think it's professional to say we have an incident or we're just catching up on reports? It wasn't very professional to say don't worry about it. It was very dismissive. Because it's a police... Uh, Hi, can Please I get your name and badge right number? Sure, Sergeant Cunha, badge number 225 sub. Are you her supervisor? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm done with you. So I approached her. I just said, hey, what's going on? I'm filming. She says, don't worry about it. And I asked her for her name and badge number. And then there's this whole, all on camera, super slow, moving, take my time. It's all a show of disrespect. Is it respectful when a citizen in their neighborhood is concerned about four police cars asking? And she says, don't worry about it. Is that professional behavior? Well, what, what is the, the initial concern as far as... I live in this neighborhood. I see four police vehicles okay. huddled over here. Okay. I come over. I'm wondering if there's... Is there a public safety concern? Has there been a theft? Has there been a, is, there, any crime? There, and so I ask her and she says, don't worry about it. Police business, don't worry about it. Is that what you said? Yeah, I told you you didn't need to worry about it because you were involved. Yeah. Did you do it with attitude? Remember, you're on camera. Did you do it with attitude? It depends on if you believe I have attitude. Did, I'm asking you. Did sure, you do I it with attitude? With no, I thought, I thought you don't need to protect her. I'm asking you a question. Are you done with me or not? Sir? I'm not done with you. Did you okay. give it with attitude? You're on camera. Go ahead. Go back and tell you. So, so you're protecting her? She, I'm, I'm not she have, mistreated I'm, a citizen and now you're, you're okay, running I'm, interference. I'm also not going to have you belittle her. Okay? I'm belittling her? You, you are. So here, I'm belittling her by asking her questions. That's said, a false narrative. You said you Now were, I need your supervisor. You said you were done with her so you were talking to me I, so, I'm not able to change my mind okay what what do you need sir well how can I help you she's disrespectful okay and, will, and you're I, backing her up I will talk to her about it and we we can move on from this. okay I'd like an incident number because I'm gonna follow up with you your... you're not gonna get an incident number There's okay nothing I'd that's like your supervisor on. please I'll make time for you okay I'll make time for you supervisor can I get your name and badge number please Alcane 2643. Thank you. Appreciate that. You? Regan 2666. Thank you. Are you guys new on the force? I'm not new, sir. Okay. Don't learn from these guys. Are you getting a supervisor? I am a supervisor. Okay. I'm asking for your supervisor because you're not handling it appropriately. I'm not handling what appropriately? You're creating a false narrative that I'm belittling no, I'm her. It's all on camera. I know it is. She is the one that initiated with the, with the poor attitude. Now I'm asking her you about that poor attitude. You asked what was going on because there are four cop cars correct here. right this is a solid brick building that we can park backed up and be safe to make sure that there's no one going to attack oh. us from behind oh it's police safety hold on hold on police I, safety I, I wasn't done I okay wasn't done. this is also one of the highest calls for service neighborhoods that we have in the city that's why you see four of us the other reason is they all work for me we were having a meeting before we got flagged down and another citizen said there was a situation going on Okay. Okay. She was doing a report that she was uh, doing once we walked away. That's all fine. Okay. That's all. So that, that's all reasonable. Okay. What's unreasonable is her attitude. Please, business. None of your business. Thick with attitude. You guys are never going to get out from under this if you don't change your your attitudes. We're allowed to ask you questions. We're allowed to move unimpeded. You nope. guys are not allowed to give us attitude. You can't just give a normal citizen attitude. Right, but you work I'm for also, us. I'm also not going to stand here and have you belittle her. So I just want to be clear here. Me asking officers. her her intent by what she said is belittling her. See, it's very different now your tone of voice from when she was standing. I have it all on video. I sure, know you do. Sure, people get upset when they're when they're right. spoken so to disrespectfully. You're not gonna belittle she her initiated in that. I, I wasn't belittling her. We can go back to the tone. Was I Okay, we can go back yeah. to the tone. Yeah, but you're not handling this appropriately. Who's your supervisor? I, I'm not handling this appropriately. So you tell me how to handle this stuff. How are you going to correct her behavior? That's an internal thing. Okay, see, yeah. that's why you're handling it inappropriately. May I see your supervisor, please? My supervisor's off. Okay. There's a supervisor. There's a shift commander, correct? There is. Okay, why are you being evasive? I'm not being evasive. I've asked for a supervisor how many times now? Do you want to speak to my supervisor who's off? Or Did I not enunciate that clearly? That I would like a supervisor. Did I say you, your supervisor? You, you did say my supervisor. Okay. May I have a supervisor? You're speaking to a supervisor. Oh, my God. See, this is what we deal with. This round and around, deliberately obtuse, 
Does anybody on this recording think that I haven't asked for a supervisor clearly? You asked for my supervisor. My supervisor is off. I've since corrected that. Uh, now you've since corrected that. Oh, you, you, you don't understand well, the you conversation. Just, you just asked again. Dude, you for are my garbage. Supervisor. You are garbage. Garbage. Yes. Why are you ha Why are you behaving this way? I'm I'm go going off of your your questions. You asked for a supervisor. I told yeah. you I was a supervisor. Then you asked for my supervisor who's off. I know this tactic, this word game, but okay. on video, you look silly. Okay. You look absolutely... I may have said your supervisor, but I quickly uh, no, corrected. No, you didn't quickly correct Yeah, it. I corrected myself. You want, it, you want to speak no, to no, the No, no, we've been commander? there like five times now, right? You want to speak to the watch commander? No yeah, problem. Yeah, no problem. 110 again, 10. And this could all have been avoided if she would have just been polite when I interacted with her. Yes, sir. Are you available to go out to the post office? I'm going to look at your cars while you're doing that. Excuse me. I don't want any. Uh, we have weapons in the post That's fine. That's, that's fine. I'm totally allowed to be here. You're not, you, sir. You can't block the camera's view. That's a violation. All right. I'm telling you right now. Sir, we're telling. We're giving you a safe distance to stay away from the cruiser, which is perfectly fine. I have fine every for us. right to be around I'm this cruiser. You, I'm telling you. You need to stay a safe distance away. What we determine what the safe distance is is what we tell you it is. Are you threatening so me with arrest? No. We are. We are telling okay, okay. you. Okay. Then I'm declining. I, I'm free to move in public. This is a public area. Okay. And I'm telling you. You're asking me. Is, no, You're asking no, me. No, I am telling you. Is it a lawful order? I am telling you. Is it a lawful sir, order? Are you going to listen to me? Shut up. You give me a lawful order under threat of arrest, I'll be happy to comply, but I'm not going to listen to your emotions. Please step away from I'm the vehicle. I'm allowed to. Step, see, now. Step away from the now vehicle. Now he's creating. Un we have weapons in the vehicle You're, that you are not going to access to and you are not going to fill. I'm allowed to be around your vehicles, buddy. Get used to it. This is the way it's going to be. You understand? That's fine. Yeah. And him putting, you putting your hand up is a violation. Sir? You're obstructing my camera. Sir, I'm telling you to keep a safe distance away from a I'm safe. Vehicle. My safety is not your concern. No, yeah, it my is. safety No, it isn't. Is. The Supreme Court's already ruled on that. Okay. Get an education, buddy. Get an so, education. Okay. Sir, back up. If you're threatening me with arrest, I'll be happy to back up. But I'm free to move in public. I'm free to record. Please back away from the vehicle. Don't create back. unwanted touching. I'm not touching you. Okay, you're getting very close to me. I am not touching you. You're getting very back close away from to me. the vehicle. You're getting very close back to me. Back away from the vehicle. You're threatening me. No, I can not. be near this vehicle. Back away from I the can vehicle. lean against this vehicle. Back. I can hang out against Sir, now he's pushing me. Stay that away was from the vehicle, I can sir. I can lean on the vehicle. I'm telling you you cannot. You, you don't have the authority. Huh? You don't have the authority. So, you, so you're going to block me Threaten me with arrest. Sir, you're going to block me from temp for, from possibly leaving the, the area? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to sit Get on your Get off of my car. I'm going to sit now. on your bumper. Get off of my car right now. Okay, now you're under arrest for the sort of a Okay. All right, so this guy is definitely going to need our support, folks. I'm going to drop the links in the description and in the pinned comment so you guys can go subscribe to him. Let him know that I sent you. Right off the bat, we've seen that these police officers had an attitude. And for what? Just because somebody was asking them questions, that supervisor escalated the situation from the very beginning. He was not trying to help the man. You know, all he was trying to do was protect the behavior of his fellow officer, little misattitude. It is not illegal to walk up to a police car and look inside and record what's going on inside. And these cops quickly walked up and started pushing him away. The fact that police officers are not trained properly about people's rights and they're given a gun and a badge. They think that they can go out there and enforce their own feeling. In order for this country to continue and operate the way it's supposed to be, with the premise of freedom, we need to truly figure out how we can change the training practices to make sure that the police officers are not repeating what somebody else is reading to them when they take their oath. We need to make sure that they actually know it and know that the people have rights. The First Amendment was written to protect your human rights. 
you were born with human rights and the First Amendment was written to limit the scope of authority that public officials have over you. Maybe that's why they don't want you to know it. And when you tell a cop that you know your rights, they laugh and call you a sovereign citizen. But many times we're seeing police officers speeding down the freeway with no emergency lights, running stop signs, not using turn signals, parking in red zones, and constantly violating people's civil rights. If everybody sued the police in the cities for every time police officers violated their rights, this country would be turned upside down on its head. The only lawsuits that we're really seeing and out there are when police brutalize the people in its own video, but there are constant civil rights violations going on every single day out there and nobody is doing anything about it. I decided to take a stand and it's time for you to take a stand as well. Start recording your police. Start knowing what your rights are. Start making complaints. Let's demand that they retrain these police officers correct and let's demand that they have accountability. Let's start holding their supervisors accountable. Let's get the sheriffs and the chiefs out of office if they're not gonna do the job correctly. Let's pinpoint it, folks. We know that they got the media to back them up and they got the blue line flag and there's bootlickers everywhere. Folks, that means people are waking up and they're understanding what's happening out there. Story for the township? I'm working on a story for the township. Well, about the township for, for me. For you? Yes. Are you making a documentary? Um, it's a new story. A new story? Yeah. Do you have ID? I always have ID. Okay, can you provide that? No. You can do whatever you want, but you need to identify who you are. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Uh, I do, sir. No, you don't. Yes, I do. And what law is that? Well, it came in as a suspicious person. Anytime okay. we investigate as to somebody calling in about suspicious, we need to at least identify who it is we spoke to. You're not in trouble in any way, no, shape, or form. Okay, then I don't need to give ID. Well, you do. What law is I that? Need to know who you are. What law is I'm that? I'm investigating a crime. It's actually called obstruction if you fail to provide wrong. documentation. No, it's sure quote, the, it's wrong. Quote that statute. I quote obstruction. I Apparently, you don't. You. Sir, look, I'm not looking. I for have to commit an unlawful act and prevent you from performing your unlawful duty to be in well, violation of yeah, obstruction. I'm currently, right now. So, what's the unlawful you, act? Right now, it's uh, it's uh, came in as a suspicious. Okay, person. and and what statute is, is suspicious? It has nothing to do with it. Yes, I'm it does. What's the law? To determine what's going on. So I'm, I'm taking pictures in public. Who you are? You're telling me you're doing something. Okay. That's fine, but I need to verify who you are. No, you don't. So in the event that something turns into something, I at least can say, all right, I went out and I spoke with this person. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. No, you are. Not really. You can come out and say, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Taking pictures, enjoying your First Amendment right to take pictures in public. Well, what, what was the first thing that I said to you today? What are you doing? I said, no. I said, how are you, sir? Okay, how are you? Did I not say that to you? Yeah, you did. So you just asked me what did I do, and I already told you what I said. Okay. I said, how are you? And I said, what are we doing? And you told me what you're doing. I and said, that's, that's it. fine. And I explained to you why I need documentation from you, just to verify who you are. Okay, but that's you don't it. need to verify who I am. I unfortunately I have, do. Yes. No, I have the right to privacy in you, public. You do, to a certain degree. Yeah, okay. and this is within that degree. Yes. Yes. But, the, but again, if we're investigating it for suspicious because somebody called it in, it's not like we it just... It doesn't matter if somebody called it in. Yes, it does. Okay, so if you're outside on your property mowing your lawn and somebody says you're suspicious and the police come by, you have to give them your ID? To verify that you live there? Yeah. No, you don't. Yes, It's you your do. property. Okay? We just need to verify who you are and identify who you are. And what's, what statute is suspicious? What law am I breaking? Sir, I'm, again, I'm not... I already went over this with you. I don't need to go... And you haven't detail. justified yourself yet. I, I do. And listen, again, if okay. you fail well, to I, provide your documentation, you can be placed under arrest for... You think so? You do not have very, identification very on me? Well, so then you lied to me because when I first asked you if you had a okay. uh, identification on you, you told me, yes, I do. Oh, I have fingerprints and retinas. No, that's that's incorrect. I asked you, do you have documentation? Do you have identification? You lied to me. So now I have a concern as to whether you're being truthful and honest with me. Do you understand? Okay, well, and you're not being truthful and honest with me because you haven't quoted a law yet. No, I'm real proud to show sir, you ID. I already explained to you what I need to supervisor. do. Supervisor. If you fail to, there's actually a supervisor right there. Okay. Okay? And I don't need to have a supervisor anyway because I asked you for who you are. Well, I'm you asking for a supervisor. Who you are, and I, told I did you, not lie about who I, I am. To you what happens if you fail to provide documentation now if i find out you're lying to me now you could be charged with hindering do we have a sergeant giving failed documentation two. uh no you have what's two going on, sir? Right. Two? Sergeant okay Rez, what's going on so what is your name and what is your information i'm not answering any questions personal information okay, well then you're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction and what law is that sir? sergeant he doesn't need to explain it to you well he does to actually to he actually does just, just hold on a second. so let's find out can I just ask you what you're doing here? Yes, sir. I'm in okay. public taking pictures of a public building, okay. expressing my First Amendment right to freedom of press. Okay. I'm here to actually file a complaint. Okay. You have that right. You have all those rights. You just, you just Thank mentioned. you. Well, he appears to okay. tell me that I don't. Now, 
just just so you know, there are areas of this building that are posted. Absolutely. Off limits. Yep, like All the right. back of that parking so lot there. So it says restricted area. Can't, can't go back those there. Areas or, or, or video those areas. Absolutely. Other than that, if you want to walk around with your camera, you can walk around with your camera. And I don't need to show ID to do that. You don't have to show ID right now, no sir. Don't. All right, sir. How's that? Well, that's uh, correct. Uh, actually, uh, in that respect. Oh, is it? Is it? That's so your sergeant's wrong. You so your sergeant's wrong. What we were going to. So your sergeant. We're not going to get into an argument here. So we're all set, all right? he, I was just threatened with arrest for not providing identification. It's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. All right, sir. But now we're clear on what's going on, right? Is he? Are we all clear? Is he clear? Because I'm clear and you're sure. clear. Everybody, everybody here is clear, sir. Very good, sir. Right, Thank so you. Continue what you're doing. I appreciate your all help. Right. You have a good day. You too. All right. Thank we're you very clear, much. Guys. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day, officer. You too, sir. Have a Hope day. you learned something today. We see this all the time. Cops will say anything to try and violate your civil rights. This cop told Alex that if he didn't show his ID, he'd be obstructing. That's a lie and an intimidation tactic to get you to hand over your ID. The Fourth Amendment protects your right to keep your ID private. Obstruction is a crime only if someone hides evidence of a crime from the police, hindering their investigation. So if there is no crime, you don't have to show your ID. It's frustrating because many cops either don't know the law or choose to ignore it. Why not train all cops with the same knowledge as supervisors to avoid these situations? Proper training would prevent a lot of these issues and build more trust between the police and the public. To be fair, the supervisor did a good job here by correcting the situation. But um, here's the thing. I don't need permission to walk around with my camera and I don't need directives from the police. We have the right to record in public and hold officers accountable for their actions. It's important for everyone to know their rights and stand up for them. Make sure you check out all the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Go subscribe to his channel, subscribe to my channel as well, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. All right, folks, we'll see you on the next one.